the hook I'm using is B175 size 10 thread is UTC 70 olive green and uh, for the tail I'm using Kokaku it's Chinese Kokaku from fibers and uh, cheeks it's goose by it it's fluoro orange looks really nice and uh, for the thorax I'm going to be using peacock pearl and for the body I'm using again it's a uh, green uh, strip quill and uh, for a huckle, front huckle I'm going to be using again light olive, golden olive, cock huckle again. So shall we start trying now? Um, just about here. Stop here and just about in between the whole point, just about a couple of millimeter. So for the tail, just these stiff fiber, not too many, just roughly about say 10 or something and yep and I'm gonna take one normally if you take the quill from the middle where the eye is as you can see it looks really nice so I've already took one out and just stripped it so I'll just take the waste piece from there make sure it's done properly now let's sketch it around here gently as it's going along Just take away the waste piece and I'm going to stop right here we're going to need this space for thorax and you know I don't want to build it too big so now I have to wrap this around you can use a huckle plier if you want to use and this entirely up to you um, I find it difficult with the hand, so sometimes it's all depend on the hakko, uh quill, how big it is. You know, if it's a long, then it's easier to wrap this around. Yeah, it's just about here. Yeah, catch it. Couple of turn. Now, when I just stop here, what I'm going to do is finish it. <coughs> and use some, let's say, UV varnish over it on the body. and some nail varnish and let it dry for about I'd say a couple of hours or something before I put the rest of the material on it mm. I'd like to see a shiny body um, it looks really nice and more realistic so I've just put this on 
to spread it equally just take your time over here because you need to give a nice shape on the body well, seems alright to me, looks alright mm. now I'm just going to use a bit laser UV light over to cure it for about a minute I think should be alright this one is done so dried up so I'm going to start around here. And use a couple of goose by it. You just take them off nicely. Just bring the tip together and just chop them off. And put them together like this equally and just touch them gently like this this have to be that's better a um, couple of peacock feather you can use one if it's kind of thick and fluffy uh, okay. Just about three to four turn. It's just a bit slipping, so in that situation, I just twist them a little bit so they don't split open. That's better. That's fine, bring these cheeks forward now, gently, and start to just scratch them here, you turn, take these cheeks off, and the final bit is bringing the huckle. Uh, it's a very small huckle so you have to be careful and take your time on this just take these bits off and scratch it gently a couple of turns and then skewer it nicely like you know bring the stem up and Pull it out. That's better. Just that's better now. Alright, I'm gonna use Huckle Plier here because it's a very small feather and you have to be very gentle with this. Take your time here when you're doing this. 
you can do is use a large hook hole if you want, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, just prefer a little that's two. You can two tons are more than enough, but I like my fly is a bit bushy and hockley so it's better just catch it nicely take this off just do one more and slowly bring all the feather back and just a bit finish um, just about three to four turn that's better. That's done. Uh, really nice pattern. I really love this. Especially when this color is works when the olives are around. Um, dark olive. Push these feathers work pretty equally. Make sure they are all equal. Yep. That's fine. Like I said, if you take your time and you know try to make a nice and neat, well, need a bit of time and patience. Just a bit fluff off in the front. And final bit is just a varnish on the head. Make sure you just be careful when you're doing this. Don't need too much varnish on the end. Well, that's better. That's almost everything is done. Except that's to clear the eyes. That's sorry, this is not stiff enough. I normally find a stiff peacock feather. It'll clear the eyes very nicely. So. That's better. Um, and this is your olive quill cruncher. This is the end result now is complete and ready and dried and ready to use. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again.